Hunter to be getting his gun ready. Surely he's expecting a deer to pop out down there at some stage soon. It's funny, we've seen two lots of hunters today. And on one of the roads, cutting through to get to here, just a deer on the road ran in front of Michael for I don't know, 50 meters and <laughs> disappeared off. Whoa, that is a steep drop down there. That is a steep drop down there. of a landslide because it really is straight down Yawning. I had a great sleep. I've taken the sleeping bag out for my swag and kept the bottom of it in and put a big duvet in. Oh, so much better. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. Still rolled the duvet up in the swag and it still fit back in the bag. Five degrees for Darren coming up. Yippee. the main 
main reasons for the seasonal gate closure is obviously some of the tracks down into the valley um, are, it is clay, like it is muddy and so through the winter they don't want people churning up those tracks which is fair enough and Wanted Stream used to be like that so they didn't want people churning it up because now they've put a whole ton of rock so I think this would actually be fine open all year round maybe it floods, I don't know Right, this is Stirling. That's a track. Oh, there's a track around to the right. So there's one little camping spot there. Someone warned me about those gate posts. It's probably the steepest entry we've had. I'm going to hit those rocks. Let's go. There's a doozy coming up for you, Steve. There's another Top of the hill, follow left. sorts of things and little walks to go and look at it. I just had the water 
regrowth. That's a bit of water, that one. I mean, you can't see very much. Well done if you've made it this far, because they've taken what was they, Forest Fire Management, Deca, Deca, Dwelt, whatever you want to call them. And I get why they've had to do it. Like, I totally understand, but it made it less interesting. That's for sure. So well done if you've made it this far. Gold star to you. Top fan award. mud hole. Negative. Ooh, that looks like an interesting little climb out there. Oh, there's a bit of a little rock ledge there. Hold up. Little drop on this side. There we go. Size spot is the biggest. 
gosh, looking at this, you would think that it's not <laughs> very used. This bit's a bit boring. You know, if you've never done it before, tip. Iconic track of the high country done. Iconic, Crooked River, Haunted Stream, Billy Goats. Um, what else is iconic? Blue Rag, Blue Rag, of course, Blue Rag. how to 
treat the bush with respect and you know not tearing up tracks and not cutting down green trees like who does that we were talking to somebody from forest fire management out at italian flats and they said that while they were off duty they saw somebody in a campground cut down a green tree like big tree in the middle of the campground and later on he went and spoke to them and then said why did you do that and they said because i just couldn't be bothered to go and look for wood and it's like but green trees don't burn well they don't give off like that campground yeah no nah, me neither they don't burn well they give off lots of smoke you know so we as people who share our content should be imparting knowledge i'm not sure i've got a lot of knowledge to impart to be fair I know I have bad habits. Driving one-handed is one of them. And I do try and remind myself to not drive one-handed. But it's just a habit that I struggle to get rid of. Um, chainsawing. One video I put up, uh, I did some chainsawing in it. And I had my ear defenders on, and my glasses on, I had gloves on, I had my steel toe cap boots, I didn't have chaps. Somebody messaged me and was like, you should have chaps on. And I was like, Jesus, like, I've I'm, I'm, I'm got everything else, but yet you pick on the one thing I haven't got. But I do actually chainsaw carve at home, and I go out every autumn, autumn, spring, and collect wood to keep me warm all winter. Um, and I do wear chaps, but because most of the time I'm on limited space in the car, they just don't go in. So is it most of my responsibility to put chaps on if I'm in a video showing that? Like I like to think I always show people how to put their best foot forward. I don't. I don't destroy the bush I love the bush I'll pick up rubbish I'll put campfires out I'll do all the things but at some point you have to say surely you have a brain in your head maybe and you need to use it anyway I don't know it was quite a deep a deep question about the influence that So many cars that have gone up. Hey, the police. Big whoopsie there. Lucy on that spot. Yeah. Maybe I just went over it. Jesus, look at this mud. You should get over that. Like. Um. You know, I see tons of people with illegal tyres on. What'd you say? Just went over it. Well, there was there was a whoopsie kind of thing. Yeah. Oh. Oh no, it's this one here. I got, yeah. Yeah, but I didn't think you were on it that quickly. I know I drive too fast. Now I've got the stickers on the car, I'm waiting for somebody like on the freeway to send me hate <laughs> for some traffic infringement that I did.
or staying out. Um, so Not a lot of bottle that's coming up, it's shallow, don't stress. Stress at every puddle. But at least because I'm not leading, I don't have to stop and... You see, I want to stop and put a stick in that. Don't particularly want to get my car dirty, just cleaned it. <laughs> we thought we'd better clean it before we got on the ferry to come over because it was fairly muddy from Tasmania. Not that we did it in tracks, um, but you're not supposed to bring soil back, so we gave them a wash.
lead up. You don't have to sit in someone else's dust. Set the speed. if 
doesn't. Boundary track. That was really steep. Anyway, I'm gonna say that that's the end of Haunted Stream because we've turned on to this, which really is like a highway, isn't it? So, easy. Anything remotely scary has been removed. All the entries, all 53 of them were easy. The steep bit, easy. Oh, beautiful. Um, you might have a bit of bother on that steep bit if it's chucking it down and there's water everywhere. Otherwise, I reckon you could drive this in any weather. Bags of grip everywhere. I'm glad I've done it, but it's nowhere near as intense or interesting as it was. It's still beautiful, it's still worth a drive. All right, then. Well, if you've got this far, thanks for watching. <laughs>